to each one of you around the world. Welcome back to Ether's Corner. My name is Ether. How are my amazing immigration friends doing? I hope each one of you is doing well and of course and always staying safe. Comment down below and let me know your immigration status, how long you have been waiting and if you are in the US, share your immigration experience with us. To my new and returning subscribers, thank you and welcome. And if this is your first time on this channel, please consider and subscribe. And while you're doing that, go ahead and turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. In today's video, I will discuss the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center, September 2022, Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories, Filing Dates, and the Diversity Visa Lottery. Now let's go ahead and dive straight to the video. Here is the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center. As of August 22nd, 2022, the National Visa Center stated that they are working on cases received from the USCIS on August 3rd, 2022. They are reviewing documents submitted on June 13th, 2022. And lastly, they are responding back to inquiries received on June 23rd, 2022. To conclude, in terms of working on cases received from the USCIS, they are three weeks behind. Reviewing documents, they are two months behind. And lastly, responding back to your inquiries, they are two months behind. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some important terms that you should know before reading the Visa Bulletin. Let's take a look. Priority date. This is the date the USCIS received your I-130 petition form. The National Visa Center uses two visa bulletin, the final action date and filing date. Now, the final action date is when your priority date matches or passes the final action date. Your green card is ready. For approval. So if you're adjusting your status in the US, you will use the final action date visa bulletin to know when your green card is ready for approval and your interview is coming up. Date of filing. Applicants outside the US uses this date to submit their immigrant visa application to the National Visa Center. The USCIS may use this date in replacement of the final action date. I use the date of filing, also called filing dates, visa bulletin to help you guys track your priority date. The date of filing is very important because it determines that a visa is finally available to you. And now it's time for you to submit your visa application and pay the processing fees. Once you are documentally qualified, the National Visa Center will send the case to the US Embassy in your country when an interview date is available. Before we look at September 2022 Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories Filing Dates Let's go ahead and take a glimpse of August 2022 Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories
Looking at September 2022, Visa Bulletin, filing dates for family-based categories, we can see that there were no changes across the board for all visa categories. In the F1 visa category, they are on priority date August 8, 2016, and that includes all areas, including China and India, Mexico, they are on priority date December 1st, 2001. And the Philippines, they are on priority date April 22, 2015. In the F2A visa category, this category remains current. In the F2B visa category, for all chargeability areas, including China and India, they are on priority date January 1st, 2017. Mexico, they are on August 8, 2001. For the Philippines, they are on priority date October 1st, 2013. In the F3 visa category, for all chargeability areas, including China and India, they are on priority date November 8, 2009. Mexico, April 15, 2001. And the Philippines, November 8, 2003. And lastly, in the F4 visa category, for all chargeability areas, including China, they are on priority date December 15, 2007. India, they are on February 22nd. 2006. Mexico, they are on priority date March 15, 2001. And lastly, the Philippines, they are on priority date April 22, 2004. Now, the reason why at times there may not be any changes on the visa bulletin it's because they have reached the visa cap for the fiscal year and the new fiscal year begins in October. Plus, recently, the USCIS have been receiving an increase of employment visa applications for the fiscal year 2023 and the numbers will be honored until the start of the new fiscal year 2023 which begins in October. Now if your priority date is current or before the current date that is listed on the visa bulletin and you haven't received your welcome letter from the National Visa Center, you need to reach out to them as soon as possible. Because now, a visa is available to you, and now it's time for you to pay your visa processing fees and start your immigrant visa application. Now, if you receive your welcome letter and you log in and the site website states a visa is not available to you, do not worry. Continue to check this website continuously until you are given the green light to start your visa application. If you have any questions on this, please do not be afraid to comment down below, send me an email, and you can always schedule a consultation with me. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Diversity Visa Bulletin for September 2022. Looking at September 2022 Diversity Visa Lottery Bulletin, we can see for each region, the applicant numbers are current. And 
we haven't seen any changes since May 2022. I'm going to go ahead and list the last updated applicant numbers for each region so we can stay updated. For Africa, they are on applicant number 63,800, except Egypt 13,000. Asia, they are on number 30,000, except Iran 8,500, and Nepal 6,300. For Europe, they are on number 27,000. North America, including the Bahamas, they are on number 10. Oceania, 1,200. And lastly, South America and the Caribbean, 1,300. For DV 2022, applicants, you have until September 30th, 2022 to claim entitlement to your immigrant status. Diversity visa will not be issued to you after this date. To check your status to see if you were selected, head over to this website right here. The National Visa Center will not alert you that you have been selected. So it is very important that you are checking this website. If you have any questions or you do not know what to do, feel free to contact me. I hope each one of you enjoyed this segment and it was beneficial to each one of you. Before I go, ensure that you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, and turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. Thank you for watching Eda's Corner and I'll see you next time. Bye now.